But what's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are picking up a new whip. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, my wife actually ended up selling her car, her 135. Long story short, manual wasn't really the best thing. So I mean, it was honestly, I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, manual driving every single day isn't really the funnest. It is definitely fun for enthusiast driving, but not all the time. So she did end up finding something else that she put her eyes on. We've been waiting on it for the past two months. He has this exact car, which we've been hitting up for the past two months. And he has another car he's been working working on at the shop he said once that car is ready then we'll sell you this other car so we were in no rush to get any other car we we're just trying to find a good good deal something that's really nice and something that's worth the money and I think we stumbled upon a very 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 rare spec f30 uh, 328 but it's a super rare spec and it's a clean title and it is really fairly priced I'm pretty excited about this guys I'm sure you guys are gonna absolutely love this spec I'm all about finding really 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 nice spec cars it's like my absolute passion if I can find a nice spec I'll lowball them and then I'll meet him halfway and if we can meet halfway that is awesome so any who's let's go ahead and go pick it up hopefully everything works out we're gonna go try to pay for the car we're gonna go try to register the car because he wants to register at the same exact time which means taxes is gonna be a little a little hard but it is what it is and then we're gonna head off and probably get it washed we're also gonna be washing the uh, the f80 as well so we're gonna end up washing both beautiful cars right next to each other I'm super excited for it and uh, yeah you guys have a little you guys have seen a little bit that we're gonna be twinning it's gonna be pretty dope we go forever and ever. We go forever and ever. Yeah. You know that I'm much sadder. Yeah. You can say you can do better. Uh. No, no, it won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever. Yeah. I go and create the pressure. Yeah. You can say you can do better. Uh. You can say you can do better. Yeah. I know that I can do better. I'm so in love with the chatter. I'm so in love with my little boo. It was written like a letter. Think I was born with the juice. Think I was born with the sauce. Think I was born a little crazy. Then I turn up to a boss Gotta, gotta go and get it I keep running up the digits Lost my mind, I gotta fix it Kill the beat, cold killing Need to change the way I'm living Never sleeping, I'm tripping This is forever and ever We live forever and ever, yeah We go forever and ever, yeah You know that I'm a your setter, yeah You would say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah I go and create the pressure, yeah You would say you can do better, uh. You would say you can do better, yeah Guys, you have both cars sitting side by side right next to each other. This is absolutely an amazing tag team. Like literally this color combination right next to each other is absolutely insane. I don't know the exact name, but I think it's like Astrology or something. It says like an E, I think. Some kind of special blue color. Um, these come on the M Sports, I believe, only the M Sports, and they come on the F30s, the 335s, and the 328s, and they're super hard to find. So the fact that we actually found this one with the color combination of the red interior M Sport has a bunch of options. is actually an insane deal to find. We're gonna have to do so many modifications to this car. I'm happy that you came with the M Performance plates. This one has the M3 plates. This one has the M Performance plates. It looks like it has LCI taillights. I'm not sure if that's LCI, or maybe that's even just M Sport, because this one is a 2013, so I, sh I don't think it should come with those, but 
but it does. I'm not complaining. Like I said, this is an M Sport, so it has a full M Sport body kit. These wheels actually look so, so, so good. I don't know if those are the standard M wheels or the M Sport wheels. I think this is like an upgraded uh, spec because I absolutely love these. I, I don't really see them often, um, and yeah. There is a little slight imperfection there, but we'll go ahead and get that fixed down the road. Not a big deal. But what you guys also saw, this car actually has keyless entry, which is super nice. The M Sport package has the M Sport wheel, paddle shifters. My wife definitely wanted an automatic. That's why we switched from the 135 to this. Plus, the fuel economy on this gets like 30 MPG, which is absolutely insane. The interior definitely needs a good detail, but I mean, hey, we got the red sports seats, the red interior. We got heads up display, the bigger screen, heated seats, Bluetooth, all the good stuff. Even as a backup camera and a front camera. I think the front camera is aftermarket. In terms of this carbon fiber trim, guys, yeah, this carbon trim is definitely fake. I can literally peel it. It's it's wrapped everywhere. So we're definitely going to probably upgrade that to the M Performance trim. I think it's going to look really cool from BMW. But yeah, guys, check this out. We've been trying to get this car for two months now. And the fact that we got it is absolutely insane. So the coolest thing about this is that they're not actually my cars. This is my wife's car. So what's better than that, it's actually better than my car, is that we're actually driving these together, which I think it looks so, so, so cool. There is some imperfections with this car, like every car, even this car came with some imperfections. Uh, oh my God, that hood just looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, here's that front camera I was talking about. These grills gotta go. Yeah, this bumper right here has like some significant pain damage right there. I don't know why. It's got a bunch of rock chips. My bumper's got a lot of rock chips. I don't really care. The front bumper is whatever. But yeah, we even got like some touch-ups over here. Not the worst thing in the world, but definitely not that nice. I mean, if we re if we resprayed the front bumper and then pretty much clear brought it, clear brought the front hood, I think it'd be really nice. We also did some touch-ups right here. I, I think we might actually just try to blend it in and try to fix all that when we actually paint the bumper. But um, yeah, in terms of this for now, honestly, if we put on a carbon fiber lip, it will cover that up and that won't be as noticeable. But yeah, guys, for the money, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, cause I like to be as transparent as possible on this channel. For the money, this was $13,000 for a clean title uh, 328 M Sport with 120,000 miles. I think that's an absolutely steal of a deal for a car like this. So when looking for 328s, they were all going for around like 12,000, 13,000 with around 100,000 miles. This one does have 20,000 miles more, but it is the M Sport package with the rare blue color and the red interior. So I think that in itself with all the other options as well, like the bigger screen, the heated seats, heads up display, keyless entry. Most 328s actually don't even come with those options. You have to spec that out. So long story short, when I actually tried to find the red interior with the blue combo, I couldn't find any. I saw one 335 with this color combination and they were selling it for I think $26,000, uh, but that is a 335 and it had, I think I believe like 75,000 miles. So I really don't know how much this one is exactly worth with this color combination. But let me know down below guys, what you guys think of these cars side by side. I have so many plans for this in terms of lips, grill, side mirrors, uh, side skirts, wheels. Even though these wheels are super nice, I do want to upgrade them as well. I'm actually rocking for now. There's, nothing, there's really nothing wrong with the car. been spoiler, I want to get a diffuser on here and you might actually go with some GTS taillights as well because those just look awesome. Honestly, like the ones on the M3, they're just so sick and they literally function like OEM. Nothing beats OEM style. But yeah, guys, let me know down below. Do you think my wife made a good decision with this car? <laughs> Again, I just keep looking at it. I'm like, my God, these two cars right now side by side. I'm super happy we got them both washed. This is the first wash we did since we got it back from LA, getting the hood installed, the crank hub and the downpipe. So yeah, that is looking super clean. I'm actually gonna put this in the garage for a little bit because I don't know if you guys know, but this isn't the only new build that we're bringing to the channel pretty soon. I'm actually picking up another car pretty soon to put on the channel. I actually already picked it up, spoiler alert. But yeah, we're gonna be showing you guys the new build pretty soon. So yeah, this is probably gonna be built in the back scenes because this is more of a daily, but we definitely will be doing a build on this soon. Do not worry, but the main focus won't be on this. I just want to introduce this car to the channel because we do have a new build coming in that needs a lot of work pronto. Now, don't get spooked, guys. This check engine light is because of the downpipes. When we put the tune on the car, hopefully, we should be able to clear that code. Um, not clear the code, but you know, disable that check engine light because that's because of the downpipes. Meantime, though, we do need to fill up this car. We might as well fill up my wife's car as well. Uh, so, her car basically, I mean, not basically, I mean, it's not really something too crazy about it. It has three quarters of a tank. Shout out to the previous owner for at least filling it up somewhat. This car, though, we just got it back from LA. Definitely need some gas. Like, guys, a 328 is it's not just a regular 328 anymore. And the F chassis, the R turboed, they got a lot of power potential. You can make it sound really good the turbo sounds and everything which i think is super sick you can have blow off valves charge pipe sounds intake sounds all that good stuff so i think it's super 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 sick and at the same time gets really good fuel economy and at the same time they're very reliable if you get them in the u.s i would say at least in california because uh yeah it does have the soul of warranty uh for people that are outside california some other states i don't know if they have the soul of warranty but this one does so we are covered for another thirty thousand miles of any engine issues so we're not really tripping
Right after we actually got some gas, we actually went down to the muffler shop, but this is the next morning because, uh, yeah, my, my, the muffler on that car just sounded really bad. We'll go ahead and throw in the clips right now. Moment of truth, please. So I don't know if you guys will see it right now, but uh, yeah, we finally got the 330i muffler, all the original components, the valves. All right, guys, please no rasp, please no rasp. I have a video before. Oh yes, oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear a muffler in my life, but that is a fully functioning muffler. But yeah, guys, basically we finally got the new muffler on the car. The car sounds a lot better. feels like OEM, feels really good. This car is not gonna be the primary project of the channel anytime soon, at least. We might be throwing on some mods onto this car here and there because it is a beautiful car. But in the meantime, we do wanna focus on the 328E90. I really wanna wrap that thing. I cannot wait for that thing to be fully put together. We are almost there. I actually just copped the fender yesterday, so we're gonna be throwing on the fender, putting on the side skirts, wrapping this thing very, very, very soon. So I'm super hyped for that. And then hopefully try to eliminate all those pesky lights on the dashboard. And then also we did pick up another build. You guys did hear in the video, we picked up another build. I am gonna put that underneath the car cover until we're ready to introduce it. But yeah, a lot of things going on guys. I'm sure you guys are gonna love this new build as well. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth